What's going on, everybody? So today we're talking mistakes, ones that I've made, also ones that I've seen in the community being made. And of course, like just a little bit of a mindset going into this game. You're going to make mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes. It's just part of like playing the game unless you're going into it. And I don't know, there is someone there that's got perfect information and they've they've researched everything that you possibly know inside the game and outside the game. And you've watched every single video. They knew every piece of information months in advance. Like you're going to make mistakes on this game. That's just how it works, right? These are like multi month, multi year long projects for a lot of these characters. So you're bound to like do something that it ends up making it everything take a little bit longer than before and that's where i want to start this video off because it's okay to do that and oftentimes the kind of saving mentality can be a mistake and i've definitely fallen into this category more so early on than as of late but things like saving too many gems saving too much gold saving your gear all of these things especially with raids this is going to be your first mistake that you end up making you obviously want to avoid trying to, you know, make as many <laughs> mistakes as possible. You want to avoid those as much as possible. At the same time, if you're sitting there paralyzed by decisions, you're not going to do anything. And that's a huge downside in this game in particular, because you have the four chapters of raids, assuming you're in a guild that can, you know, participate in each chapter, which isn't super difficult as of late. Every single team that you progress can be used in all four chapters of the raids and it's not like other games like star wars galaxy of heroes for example where yeah your guild can kind of carry you through a lot of stuff there is a personal reward track and because of that any team that you add can oftentimes earn you initial 100k maybe 50k character experience a week 100k uh gold a week you know maybe some extra coins or maybe even gandalf shards if you're on that break point for your account all of that matters a great deal so do not stall too long now there is a balance right you don't want to go i'm gonna invest in every single thing in the game and you also don't want to sit there paralyzed right now in terms of where we're at in the game we have glyphs coming so now is a good time to maybe save accumulate a little bit of gold but still continue to progress your main team that you're looking for for progressing arena and that's going to help you out in raids for most people that's the elves right now that's a great solid team to continue kind of investing while still building a little bit of a stockpile of gold to prepare for raids and then a, or glyphs and then as soon as glyphs go boom you have all that gold and you should be spending that pretty much immediately to get those massive bonuses in the raids there's no point in saving resources if you never spend i definitely fall into this category a lot in a lot of gotcha games and hero collectors where i'm like saving it's like oh well now glyphs are in the game well i'm gonna save longer because they might add something later no get your stuff done now especially when there's big upgrades like glyphs to come because you'll make up that gold let's say you spend 750k gold on raids well by the time the next big update comes all those kind of gold sinks gave you the gold back in terms of what progression you got on the raids and now you have glyphs so keep that in mind the second big mistake that I ended up making, and this is especially true um, for me now because of how much I'm starved for ability materials, is ability materials and kind of not necessarily focusing on the specific characters that truly, truly need them. Take, for example, although I am using him now, Elric here, who is at level five for some of his abilities, level four. You have characters like, for example, Strider over here for me that has... Um, some level five abilities like heroic charge here take another character like ugluck here he's got level four abilities across the board and you look at some of these and it's like yeah like i could get 30 percent extra damage sure but that doesn't really help a whole lot especially like for example ugluck he's a perfect example because if i look at okay what am i going to be doing with this 30 percent extra damage well they're good in 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 chapter one of the raids they're pretty good in chapter two but they're not amazing in chapter three or chapter four so is this 30 percent extra damage on basic and onslaught which he's not even necessarily a damage dealer gonna help me push a ton of my score no not really um there are some ability breakpoints that are really really important like if i went to this basic and, and got um the provoke stack right that's amazing but for like onslaught here the extra 20 percent damage or extra 30 percent damage 
do not go for these because they're not really going to progress your overall account. So make sure you're focusing on the right abilities. And it even starts at level four. The level four upgrades are what you don't want to necessarily walk into. And I've done some cases where I don't upgrade, right? Like Elo, uh, Eowyn here is a perfect example. I don't have the damage on her basic. I also don't have the damage on her level, uh, third ability. And I've kept it at level three. So I have done good in some situations and poor in others. But you want to make sure you're doing this very consistently because you'll note as you get deeper and as you start to progress your like main teams and you try to bring some characters up to like level six or level five on some of their abilities, like Elrond here who has that extra stamina on the level six upgrade. This one took me a little while to get because I had almost no extra resources. And for the elves in particular, well, I want all of their abilities at level four because they're in my arena squad. So I really would like them to have the ability to really push arena for me with targeting specific levels up to six, unless some of them have a really good upgrade at five, but most of them do not. It's either like six or keep at four. And you wanna make sure you're balancing this correctly. Every team is different. And of course, every account is different, but just keep in mind that level four abilities are a huge cost as well as level five and six. Not just, oh, I can take it up to level four, no big deal. The next mistake is something that I've seen a lot of people make, and that's just not taking advantage of the supply store, right? This is a great way to kind of spend a little bit of your goal to get a bunch of additional gear, especially the green gear down here. Now, some of this you can kind of pass on, like I probably shouldn't have bought the medallion. I was autopilot this morning, so that's a mistake in of itself. <laughs> uh, so you want to make sure you're doing the supply store correctly, but picking up like a lot of the essences, these are basically always going to be used. The crystals are almost always going to be used as long as you're targeting them. And the green pieces are also very cheap and almost always going to be used. So making sure you're taking advantage of this very early on in the game is extremely important. If nothing else, if you want to skip this blue gear, that's fine. Do not skip the green gear though. You will need this every single time. And well, unless you want to go back and farm green gear, which feels pretty bad, the amount of gold value you get from picking up the green gear in specific is really, really good. And you definitely want to pick that up. Okay. Uh, and the same applies to like all the other stores, right? Making sure you're focusing on the specific correct options for guild store. That's probably Wubat for challenge store. That's either to or going for the essences for arena. That's going to be AMR first, then Legolas, and then the other characters for your raid shop. Well, you can kind of go through and determine uh, what you want to spell your gold currency on based on what, uh, um, you know, you're specifically looking for. Some of these are for like gear nine, um, you know, characters or, or gear pieces. So that is something that you might want to wait on depending on where you're at. You can also spend them on essences and such. All that is going to be a very, very important thing to kind of factor in. And I can't tell you how many people didn't realize that the green pieces of gear are at the bottom. For some reason, CG likes to do this where like they, they put some of the pieces at the top for gold. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you're like, oh, there's more pieces for gold <laughs> at the bottom, which well, ends up being very important. And if you're pushing gear nine, guess what? These purple pieces also extremely, extremely valuable. Do not sleep on these ones either. Um, and I honestly probably should be picking up some of these as well. So now the last mistake is probably the most interesting one, I would say, the one that people don't necessarily think about all that often. And it's something that I've been slowly trying to correct because shard farming is so important in this game and has been, a lot of people find themselves really stocked up on certain resources, but pretty low on others because most of their energy is going towards shard farming. A perfect example of this is, let's just click on a random character like Ugluck here. Well, I have a absolute metric ton of the crystals, right? Shadow and Luminous, both of them. Why is this? Well, because maybe I'm lacking essences or maybe I'm lacking the other gear components, which in this case I am, to go ahead and actually use these crystals. You'll note I'll have a lot of gear here to acquire, especially for like gear nine or gear eight. Um, you'll need a lot of these other resources, but you'll have a ton of these crystals. These crystals and essences in this case are both essential parts that require quite a bit of energy to accumulate. And so if you're just letting them sit there like I am, and you have a ton of them, this is essentially a wasted value 
over time because you could have been using this to convert into more gear pieces and also more raid scores so when you're going through your your roster make sure you have a priority list of certain characters to farm so like if that's your elves and you're like okay but i do want my elves to be strong so i want to make sure i'm farming you know eladin and arwen guarantee those are like number one and number two priorities for me right eladin and arwen first and foremost every single day i must farm those after that i'm like okay well i want to get rohan and isengard there why because i have them gear eight already i am level 60 so the extra star levels are actually huge bonuses to my account after that well hobbits are pretty important for me uh or road rivendell specifically i'm going to be going for road rivendell so i'm going to be go getting them why because well i'm pretty close to seven stars you can see frodo's actually almost completely done and then mary's not far behind sam's going to be a free unlock because of that and it's going to be an easy transition to the next team but for example, one team that's really far away, Haradrim, right? And you can see I actually have farmed a little bit of them, uh, and I have been farming them recently. Bekalu is a guild campaign, so that's an exception. Wubet's a guild uh, shop, so that's an exception. But like Robel, Yeftu, these two, well, they are campaign nodes, and I have been farming them a little, or I was like periodically farming them before, and I've, I've farmed a little bit lately. But just drop these farms there's no reason to be farming these characters because they're so far down the line for me that instead i could be using that energy for more gear which allows me to use the other resources i've already accumulated on my characters to help me progress my raid scores so make sure you're balancing the gear farming with the shard farming if you're all out of crystals and you're all out of limitless crystals you're all out of essences you don't have any currency to spend on essences then you can go back to shard farming more so that's when you go back and like, okay, I'll farm up the F2 or Robo because I have some extra energy. It's kind of how you can look at it. Because you shouldn't be farming crystals, actually. Since the beginning of the game, um, you may have wanted to farm crystals back then, but not anymore with how many shards that we actually need to accumulate in the game now. So this is where you want to balance those two. And especially if you've accumulated a lot of extra gear components like I have, now is a great time to start going in, dropping some of the shard farms a little bit, prioritize the ones you really need and then go back in for some more gear because you've already basically gotten half of your gear done on a lot of your characters you just need to farm the other half so it allows you to make your energy a little bit more valuable especially on characters that you're already using right for me elves right so this is a big thing that I've done recently because I do want to continue to improve my elves and you can't do that if you're just spending all of your energy on shard farming if again you have no crystals then keep shard farming you'll get them eventually <laughs> so that's going to be kind of some of the mistakes that i've made some of the things i've seen and some things that i've been trying to correct slowly it's at the end of the day not a huge deal if you do make these mistakes over the long term the only thing that changes if you do make these mistakes is how long it takes for you to finish something over someone else that's about as complicated as it gets if i decide hey i want to go ahead and max out one goblin out of the five and then use him in my shadow team well maybe you don't get as many points scored in the raids or maybe you don't progress as far as the shadow campaign and maybe you lost like a month of time because you decided to fully invest into a goblin oh well you'll correct it it's nothing that a little money can't fix and a little or a little time can't fix that's how these games work so mistakes equal time and so does money so just you know drop a little money although i wouldn't recommend that i don't think this game has a good value for that <laughs> uh, so uh that's gonna be it guys hopefully you enjoyed and if you've made any of these or perhaps you think of any else of the any other mistakes any else any other let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you all for the next one